We're back at it again, but with three new pairs. Pairs that are a little bit cheaper, a little bit more common for people to get. We got Bread 11s, Habibi SB Dunks, and Travis Low Mochas. Definitely pairs you see more often. I mean, I see Bread's weekly. I see Travis Low's weekly. Habibi is a little bit more uncommon, but still a pair that people should hopefully be able to legit check. And we're gonna go over each pair, highlight some of the main things that threw us off when we received them in. Main thing with the breads is on the bottom of the shoe where the carbon fiber is, on the fake pair, the carbon fiber is a little bit blurrier. The squares are a little bit bigger than what they should be. Um, that's the main thing that I saw. I always look at the carbon fiber when checking 11s. It's just a good way to tell. Another big thing is the shape of them. If you look at the back, the real pair is nice and narrow and high, and the fake pair is really short, as well as the 23 on the back. It is not centered. It just looks really sloppy. And then just other inconsistencies within the box and other accessories. Moving on to the Habibis. These are probably one of the worst fakes that we brought. You can just squish it, and the sole kind of just pops out of the bottom. Nike stitching on the back of the heel. It's just a lot bolder and cleaner on the real pair. And then on the fake pair, it's skinnier and just looks a lot sloppier. Again, with the accessories, the laces are so thin and hardly frayed at all, whereas on the real pair, they're nice and thick. And then the purple box and the rainbow box, that doesn't matter. I've yeah. seen real pairs in the rainbow box. I've seen real pairs in the purple box. And then lastly, the Travis Lowe's. This is probably the best fake that we brought. The biggest difference between the two is just the shape, especially on the heel on the fake pair. It's just a lot bolder. I think this one's going to stump a lot of people. The main thing I noticed was that sticker on the inside of the box it did not have the perforated lines through it at all so i'm interested to see how many people get this one right and then also box accessories just inconsistencies the big companies really focus on getting the actual shoe right they kind of lack on perfecting all the accessories the sticker the laces the lace bags all of that so make sure you guys pay attention on the box accessories and all of that too. so first pair we're going to start off on is the habibis i feel like this is the easiest one to catch so i hope a lot of people get it right you ready yep we're going to start with the real pair first see how it goes. All right, starting it off with the Habibis, the real pair. Let's see if people know their stuff. Yeah. Is this your cable? Yeah, this is the right here. You want to do a little legit check for me? Sure. Can and you just you go can... over like the things that you're looking for when you check SBs? My main thing is stitching, especially on the, that he's sold. Normally what I look at is always that. If I see that this is too loose, uh -huh. right away, I mean, but these are actually pretty good. But, uh, same thing <laughs> you feel like it's harder to check brand new or pre-owned shoes? Brand new. Brand new? Brand new because sometimes they be making them a little bit way too too perfect spot on. Yeah. And once they're worn you can kind of like it breaks it in. You can it kind of is and even flaws. the material you can feel it different. Because on the, especially on the leather when it's a fake pair, like on the Travis Scott's when they have fake pairs, the leather, no matter what you do to it, how much you crease it, it always looks perfect. And on the real pairs, they crease no matter what. Yeah. So that's what it is. I mean, real? Yeah. yeah. Yep, you're right. Good job. Good job. I'm Panda Styling, Panda underscore styling. Follow me on Instagram, local Phoenix, Arizona. Oh yeah, appreciate that. That's it. How's it going, guys? Good, how's it going? Good. Want to, put, want to be my check in for me? I can't check them, but I'll look at them. They okay. look nice. Do you mind if we record it and you can say the things that you're looking for? Just for like a checklist, essentially. Oh shit, I'm not like a legit checker like that. That's okay. Just your Just, opinion. Yeah, what you look for when you check and choose. Well, I'm gonna look for the stitching, first of all. I mean, they were mass produced, but not super, so you won't expect any sloppy jobs. They are used, kinda, but... Yeah, I was gonna say they kind of <laughs> smell like nothing, like... Somebody had some clean feet. That's good, that's good. <laughs> so let's see. This all lace looks consistent. Shape. Yeah, the laces. The laces are nice, huh? Yeah. They're pretty high quality, yeah, metal tip. Ones on the balance is here. Oh, yeah, huh? I've seen those. These look legit to me, for sure. I'm not seeing any issues with the stitching or the sizing of the swoosh, swooshes. They're high quality premium materials. You got corduroy, nice pebbled leather. Even the lace tips are nice and smooth. They have that smooth metal touch to them. The sole looks legit. Yeah, these look good to me, for real. Good job, they are. Yeah, friends and family kicks, original here in Arizona. Local, shop local, you know, it's the best thing to do, I think. Everything I bought here myself, um, he also, you know, bought some of these things as well, so you know that you're getting something authentic. And I mean, it's here and now, it's better better to buy now in person than wait two, three weeks for something to get. And who knows what, you know? Yeah. I, I know these guys got, you know, authenticators on, on hand, but 
The reason why I don't really authenticate all that much is because I buy straight from the source, so I know it's authentic. Go to the stage so we can get that band out of the Okay. I've never actually had one. Well, just go over what you look for in any of these. If you guys found a pair of car keys, please bring them to the stage. Thank you. 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 Once again, you guys, once again, to all vendors, if you have your car, you every you loader, please. We're just we doing need it for video purposes. Move those vehicles. I'm going to take them out. Move those vehicles, you guys. We are trying to start this. I usually look at stitching. I would go by the box. Like the so this this tag right here, obviously there's more details to the shoe rather than the box itself because you could always get a, a box from somebody else, right? So yeah, I mean stitching doesn't look bad on the on the tongue in my opinion. I do a lot by feel as well. I think like the rubber on the bottom can be a giveaway on fakes as well. Um, I was gonna say smell, but they're used. So. Yeah, they're used, but they're beat. But they're not. I mean, they're not. They're, they're not beat at all. Actually, they're they're pretty clean. A little star loss. What's your verdict? Real or fake? They're real, but I want to take my word for it. I would say they're real, but as well, I'm not a professional in this. I'm not, you know, StockX authenticator. Fox but even then, they, they always do pass. So. Fox feels but you guys good. are right. Okay. Thank you. Good job. Yeah, it feels pretty good. Yeah. Scott yeah. still selects. Deals in the Valley on Instagram here in Arizona as well. Legit check these for me. No. No? How come? I'm not. I don't know. I don't even. Just I've never look even them over and shoe. like what, what you look the? for when you get a pair in. You guys get all your stuff retail? No, I wish. No. We have a, a sneaker group chat at my school. All right. Yeah, we just have like a ton of kids. And we just, oh, we just, oh <laughs> hey, he's got a real pair for you. There, there you go. go. Are these fake? Oh. Don't mix them up though. <laughs> <laughs> Mine are you, so we're good. Mine are Just kind of go over what you guys are looking at. They look good. Wow. They look good. They look good. Look at how like the stitching isn't very bright and there's no. Dude, same on this one. Really? Yes. Word. Do the same thing. Look. It's really good. That's crazy. Look right here too. Look right here. So this one's DS. It looks good. So, verdict, yes. What about you? Yes. I think I yeah. suck at legit checking. I think yeah. You're right. They look good. They're okay. good? Yep. Yeah. Leaf Leaf Kicks on Instagram. Leaf underscore kicks on Instagram. And yeah, Salt Lake City. So now we're gonna go grab the fake movies, go around with those, and see what people say about those and see if they hit them right as well. I can hold the box too. Sure. What you looking for? I was looking for the stamp. It looks kind of weird, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. The tag looks a little weird too. I would usually smell them, but they're used. <laughs> yeah, these are fake. I could just feel they're flimsy, super flimsy. flimsy. Yeah. yeah, the box is off, the tag, everything. You're right. Yeah. Good job. So me, I'm looking for stitching. If it's out of the uh, shoe, like for instance out here. Yep. Smell it. It's used. Yeah. yeah, I usually smell, but I'm not gonna smell yeah. it. <laughs> um, what I'm also checking for inside. What do you think? I think they're fake, but I'm not sure. I can't say they are. But... Yeah, they look fake just because of this. this right here. Yeah. Yeah, this like the, the the swoosh on them, the laces. What do you guys think? Let's get a fake. verdict. Fake. fake. I'm gonna say fake. I'm gonna say fake too. Fake. fake. Yep. Perfect. Good job, guys. Good job. Yeah. So this pair is pretty bad. I noticed almost everybody noticed the box color first off, and if you have it side by side to the actual color of the box, it's instant. The shoe itself is also super flimsy. I've seen a lot of people smushing on it. The whole box is just going flatter than a pancake. 
and then not bouncing back. So let's move on to the next pair, test some more people's knowledge. Okay, next pair up, Travis Scott Lowe. I feel like this is a good one because this is on a lot of people's grail list. Let's go get them checked. This pair is real. Do you say used pairs are harder to check than DS pairs? Uh, this, the box doesn't look good. The box doesn't look good? Because the box for the, for the lows are big. Okay. Yeah, these are close. Is it fake? I can say big, but the box doesn't look good. Okay, so the shoes look good, but the box doesn't look good. No, the, the shoes. Are you selling a used pair? Yeah. It's hard to tell in the used pair. But normally for the backs, of the lows are big. Okay. So this... How should go? For ten and a half. All right, guys. Car number fifteen. I wish I have the the lows here outside here. Okay, undetermined then. Undetermined, but but probably the backs are too small. Ten and a half. Normally the backs a little bigger for the lows, not like uh like the the high. Okay. So undetermined. Undetermined. I don't know. I think fake. <laughs> yeah. What were you looking at when you were looking at it? I was looking at the tag. Mainly, I was looking at the like the size tag, mm -hmm. and then I was more looking at the stars too. But I've never personally had a pair of Travis's, so like I don't know too much on these. If you ask me another yeah. shoe, I definitely could. <laughs> uh, so right now, I'm just looking at how the uh, the material moves, like when you run your finger across of it. It's a soft way, so it should kind of change colors in the direction that you push it. So you man, how you doing, bro? You can kind of see it changing. So and then with the black light, we would look for glue stains, stitch one? lines, smell, but Month? are these dead stock? Okay. So the smell probably really wouldn't even count. A lot of these Travis's, the, the OG ones, like, there's a little extra material here, so it doesn't round at the top. It kind of goes straight up. So that looks good. I would say these are legit. But I can't say that with confidence until I, unless I had the black light, but everything else I looked at, like the toe box. Cool, you're right. Yep, Good job. beautiful. Boy, you late, you know. Check it out, early, not late. Early, not late. <laughs> Doing unofficial authentication checks. What I look at is the size tag, obviously. Font, font's kind of in. So already off the bat, I'm kind of skeptical. So I'm looking at size tag. See if the font's good. Checking the insole. I mean, the stitching seems good on the back. I kind of look at the font back here, see if the font's good. Seems okay. If I had a black light, I'd shine this, see if that's glistening, if it's, especially on the sole, sometimes the stitching lights up, you know, but I don't have a black light on me, so I can't check. Like, you can kind of tell the texture of the paper. The texture of the paper kind of seems off. I'm gonna say these are fake. I'm not gonna say they're real. Okay. Just some of the stitching is off too. The also the label looks off too. At least those are the, the, the two giveaways for me. And so what's your verdict? Fake. Yeah? So we're kind of just doing a video on like helping people legit check their own shoes or shoes that they're buying. So if you can kind of just go through what you're looking at. Okay, so just I, like kind of a checklist. Oh you're good. So I look here for like the three lines that go diagonal in the shoe. You might have to help me with this. Also look for the stitching. As if it's sloppy or yeah, inconsistent. Makes, also look for this right here. So there's like a double stitching on the second back tie right? Mm -hmm. And that's about it, what I look for. This look pretty good actually. What's Are your verdict? Pretty? Real or fake? I'm gonna go real. You're right. My name is Mo Kixlord. Follow me on Instagram. First, I'd look at probably like the, the sticker, the green one. Actually, I have, I have a couple lows here. I can bring a couple. Perfect. He's got two pairs to compare. You can look at it with me too. You cool. should have that. I would think that authentication. All the time. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, just those lines, those grooves. I don't like how like clear it is, but right off the bat, I'd probably pass on them, but they look really clean. Like the shape is good. Um, yeah, I wish I had my black light, but 
I would pass on them, but they look pretty good. Undetermined. Yeah, for me at least. No worries, thank you. You guys should shop at Tempe Toes on Instagram. As you guys probably know, these are the hardest ones to check. Travis's. Let me see them over here. Honestly, I just look for quality control most of the time when I get like shoes in to try to see if it's real or fake. So sometimes, I mean, recently quality control has been real bad, but on stuff like this, usually they typically don't make it too bad. So I try to look to like the different wrong of the right here, but sometimes it's on real ones too. Um, usually we have a black light to check for stamps or uh, missed stitching. Sometimes we get like a black light, there'll be like a, like trace stitching right here and stuff like that. Um, yeah, quality, I like to squeeze the sole like that. Usually the fake ones will just fold on you when you squeeze it. This real floppy feeling and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, Travis's are probably the hardest ones to compare and like tell, but honestly, for our store, I would just, I would pass, just because some things are different about it, but I don't see anything wrong with the shoe personally itself. Gotcha. So, Undetended. are they real? Yeah, yeah, I see, I would pass only because of that. If one thing's off, just because yeah. I'm used to seeing that on the inside of it, not on the lid, but like, like I said, I just wouldn't risk it for this store. Yeah. But the shoe looks perfect, but the box kind of threw me out of this thing. Yeah. Why is it right there? It's on a little hot. Huh? Yeah. Appreciate you, brother. Really? Yeah. yeah. I've seen it a lot of times on here and here. Yeah. Yeah. And then like a code. Especially on the trap loads. Once again, you guys, once again, once again, once again. Oh, okay. Make sure you guys are big. So we're Soulplay 909, Arizona. Uh, we have three stores at Arrowhead Mall in Glendale, Scottsdale Fashion Square at Scottsdale, and then Mesa Superstition Springs. So come check us out. I'm actually pretty impressed with the answers so far. Every, mostly everybody's gotten it right. A lot of people are nervous to answer, but. So far, so good. Let's go grab the fake travel slow and walk around with that pair. Sleep or something that's just out of place. I don't know, it's kind of weird. We usually, when we compare stuff, we have the other shoe in the store. So, if I had a guess just from a couple things that I'm looking at. I would say UA. Correct. Yes, because I'm like, it's too soft. And when I did pull out the sole, it's so much glue that it actually, that's why I didn't yank it all the way out. But this too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was so strong. You got a new all man? I have my man first. You hear the announcement, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go down there. No good. No good? No good. But to me, they look a little weird. What threw them off for you? So the insole's like about a rip when I take it off. The midsole looks like the midsole just like a little too cream. The sticker right here usually has supposed to have like little slits in it. It doesn't have any that I see. The box like it's like like coming apart. The label looks like usually they have like a little like green tint. I want to say it's not a green tint. I don't know how to explain it. It's just like when you see as many pairs as I have, you yellow just know right off the yellow tint. There we go. And also the paper. You and also correct. the, there's just like a red like stamp right here. You know, it's not. You're right. Appreciate it. We brought one real We will start real the real show. Real Please, you guys. So, like, we you want, want to make the show run as smooth as possible. We don't want to take. These are used. Yeah. Okay. I'd pass these, I think they're good. Yeah, I think they're good. Yeah. Did I pass? No. They're bad though. No. Damn, I failed. I suck. I should quit my job. Oh, I learned a lot today, so I'm, def I'm definitely gonna be better at checking these now. Yeah, so we're looking at like the details I'm looking at? Yeah. Let's make it simple, man. Wow, he's got them on. It's like my pair's fake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he took his off. <laughs> I don't know, something's falling fishy to me. That's probably just my foot. We brought a real pair and we brought a fake pair. Wait, say it again? We brought a real pair and we brought a fake pair, so we're walking around with one of each. So one of these is real, one of these is fake? No, 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 like... Oh, I see. You know what I mean? 
Two I'm, two I'm totally seeing if you're trying big. to stump me here. Right. No, I'm poker face. I'm going to say these are fake. It's funny, I bought Pop this guy before. Long time ago. I recognize the sticker. I don't know, man. I don't like him. Look at the fucking insert. What are you saying, D? Just tag some too. No way, man. I don't like him. The box label looks a little different to me, but... So the lid and the box aren't even the same color. I don't like them. This ain't fake. If you brought them up to me in the store, even if they were real, I'd pass them. You've got a reseller sticker on here, so it's like things like that. If you're like a regular person, you're just like... Makes you feel good. Makes you... But that shows you, you can't just trust... That's what I'm saying. That's what I said. Even cause, like reputable people. Because you can put a sticker. Good job, boys. You Good job. It. I'm kind of nervous. What's through you? <laughs> I thought it was being punked. I was like, <laughs> check out the box, like the label, the font on the label. Gotta check the insoles, materials, stitching. They look good to me. Nah. Are you sure? Nah, I'm gonna say they're fake. Are they fake? They're fake, yeah. I'm I didn't fake. see the... Oh, yeah, I'm fake. When I saw this, that's what gave it away for me. Yeah. The little label? Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you guys. Thank you. Have a good event. This one has stomped a few more people than the Habibis. I think it's time to switch pairs. Let's go grab the Bread 11s. Next one up, dead stock. Size 11, Bread 11. With the stock X tag still attached to it. No box paper, no box plastic inside. These are the real pair. This pair is the S. For a second. Thank you. That's the, just the box, original box? OG box. These are good. These are good. Legit. So, me personally, I look at the uh, reflection and then the sizing of the squares right here. I guess checker marks. Um, another thing, the cut of the pattern is what I look at. So another thing I look for inside, the insole is going to be the stitching on the sole to the shoe. Um, geez. The only thing that throws me off on the shoe is going to be the reflection on this and how it meets here. So I'm going to say fake, just based off of that. Sure. Yeah, that's that's gonna be my uh, no tissue paper either. No tissue paper. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna say fake. And then the QR code is like too hard to read. I don't think a phone would pick that up. I mean, I guess I could take my phone to it and read it. Me personally, I'd pass them. Okay. Just... They're real. They're real. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> fake. Fake. Yeah. Why? Labels off. That's it. You sure? Hundred percent fake. They're real. I'm right. No, they're real. Cap. That box is old. The who? Cap. <laughs> it's circle. Yeah. Cap. It's circle. It's real. Huh? They're real. Cap. <laughs> I don't believe you. Looking at the size tag. It's. It's okay. Looking for this one. Let's we'll see. Quality control. Let me see. What do you look at on that? For the Green lines. The lines. For the lines, yeah. And then the jump man. It looks, oh, this it has a tag. I do have a black light. So, let me see. So, it does have the X. I want to work. There we go. And... Ooh, yeah. What are you checking for? 
just stamps on the on here. Sometimes they like to put them like right here, somewhere around there. And then I noticed sometimes on the bottoms they'll have like some fakes will have like the big China stamps. You know what I mean? Man, looking for any more stamps? I think they look real. Yeah, they look pretty real to me. And actually. I don't know about that. I don't know about the carbon. Carbon? The, the, um, let's see. Oh, right there. Ah. ah. So, let's see this other pair. Okay. I'm gonna go with no good. No good? Yeah. All right, thank you. Now I'm checking out the box to make sure there's any like markings or anything like Chinese symbols or anything. My homie's about to check out the stock X tags. They did make new ones, but they had older ones where they could pass for fakes. So, I'm to check out the same one. The box also I used to check out. Probably control marks inside of the box, so that's that's cool. With the stock X hang tag, I like to check the. Uh actual logo to make sure it looks right glows right and i sometimes i check like the retail stamp right here to make sure that's on there because some some pairs don't have one the stitching on the jump man looks straight and usually this 23 right here on some fakes they don't you can't feel this Let's see the bottom Check for smell sometimes. Usually, like fake pairs have like a strong. Like, a strong I would say they look good. Okay. I don't know if like I don't know if you're bringing around a really good fake pair to see. Yeah, I, I don't think know, but these look good though. They look good, you guys. They yeah, do look yeah. good, but are you trying to get us? Yeah, no, you're I, right. I don't know. These. Are... You're right. Okay, okay. Yeah, they're, yeah, good. They look good. they're good. They look Everything good. Everything I see, like I, sometimes you see some better than others, but yeah, from the quality stamp, like I said, the shine on the stock tag, even holding well. Uh, the solidness of like the insole looks good, stitching on Jumpman looks good, overall shape, color. The last table that we were at, they saw this residue. I don't know if it's picking it up on the camera, but you guys can kind of see right there on the heel. There is some residue kind of like dripping down on the, on the heel right there, but that is just from the factory. It could be from a multitude of different things, but it is not a stamp. That is just how some of the, some of the quality control is. You can see another spot right there. That does not mean that they're fake. These guys, got it right. They pointed that out to me as well, so it's okay. And we got Garment Supply opening up the beginning of November out here in Arizona in Tempe. Is this a fake or not fake? Yeah. We should get the box label. I'm looking at the carbon fiber down here. Make sure it's got a texture to it. You want to make sure the jump man's that doesn't have like a butt cheek, like a line going through it. You want to make sure his head's attached to the neck, the circle's actually a circle and he's not, you know, holding the football or something. Yeah, is that? Just want to lay up. He's got the four fingers. You want to make sure the two, three on right here is centered. Um, it's not, you know, actually curved. Some pairs are like, I don't know, it's weird. Sometimes it's quality control though. You look at the inside tag, making sure it's the right font right here. That's the worst. You ever actually sniff a shoe? That's and you're like, like, oh, it's actually used. One? You're like, thanks yeah. for letting me know after I sniffed it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's nothing glaring that's popping out on me. <laughs> hey, what's your verdict? They're real. They're real. Good job, good job, good job, good job. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We've had enough of the real Red 11s. Let's go grab the fake pair. This is the last pair. Let's go try it out. So, it's all good. They're worn. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna say fake. Yeah, How come? Fake. Uh, so, what? I think the carbon fiber's off. Yeah, that that's probably off. Um, but what I noticed is that that 23 is too wide. And this is not really centered. Oh, that jump and then the first yeah, the first thing that I saw was the tag. Was the tag? The, the numbers yeah. are too light. The font is off. 
And it's like kind of blurry-ish in a way, almost. Yeah, I would say. That was quick. That was yeah, great. That was great. I, I literally saw like that's it. No good. I don't know if you saw. You noticed yeah. that, but yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you guys. No worries, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Can you hold the box. I think these are unauthentic. Unauthentic. Yeah. Real fake. And uh, like what you're looking for when you go through it. I brought one real pair and one fake pair to this event. We're walking around with both of them. Oh, red. Ouch. Um, so the first thing, I mean, I would look at, would, I would look for a, a, a um, quality tag. I don't see one. I don't know if Fisher had them. label I would look at the font sometimes like the centering uh, where they put the, the sticker label usually the smell these are used so I don't want to really smell them but um, sometimes the font yeah I don't think these look good the font right here doesn't look to me like the font looks off usually um, it looks the same. It looks like a little bit white. I would say that these are not good. You're right. I got heat. It's I got heat with three T's. So these are real or fake? That is up to you. Yeah. It's just really thin along these. You have to pay to get a... 20 bucks? Uh, yeah. Things be getting good nowadays. If I had I'm to guess, because sure the insoles are coming out too easy, I guess they're fake. You're right. I'm right. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Fakes are getting good though. Yeah. Fakes are getting good. Is that right? Okay. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. 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 Thank you.